Hello and welcome, this is S tier rank, and today I'm playing some more Hogwarts Legacy. Let's go ahead and hop in. I think we last left off completing a couple side quests. We got back, uh, I think it was Arn's carts, and um, there was a Merlin's trial quest out over that way that I'd like to try to finish. Um, however, I'm not sure we'll be able to find it again. We can try, but if we don't see it, we'll uh, double back and go back to Hogwarts or something. I didn't look up exactly where um, this would be, but let's see. I have no idea if I'm going the right way. I wonder if we can see it on the map. Oops. We want the map, not quest. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, there we go. Okay. I'm glad that that stayed on the map. That would have been a little bit lame if we couldn't find it. too many let's see have we already I think we've already equipped everything good that we could I don't know why it was giving us that hint I just want to double check though okay that's a step down I think we did all of our inventory management yeah hmm it's a little bizarre it would give us a hint at the moment when we don't have anything new recently to uh yeah, actually use. Hmm. Okay then. So somewhere there are there's another set Revelio. of those like cannonballs to use over here. On of course those guys are back. Didn't think about that. Hmm. I really don't want to have to do a whole nother round of fighting these guys, so let's find a quest and seek it out some other time. We'll level up another level or two and we'll come back to this area and wipe the floor. Okay. Let's see, do we get this? Oh. Completed Professor Hackett's assignment. Now need to return to Defense Against Dark Arts classroom. Yeah, let's do that. Oops, I should have done locate on map. Getting ahead of myself, I'm telling you. There we go. What are you up to now? Okay. Advance time by accessing the map and pressing R3.
Okay. Didn't actually get to try it. I wonder if I have to do it again. I hope you were able to take care of everything I had asked you to do. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Okay, let's see. Where's our like spilly armor set? Uh here? No, that's Accio. Okay. There we go. Expelliarmus. You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. Or the recharge time on these spells. Okay. Well, another quest down. Um, let's see what's next. I guess let's do potions class because I'd love to get um, through it and maybe make some wig and weld potion, perhaps. Okay, that's not far at all. Let's go ahead and just walk there. Maybe we'll see something to do. Oh, you know what? I think that there might be one of those eyeball chests back here that I haven't opened yet. Let me go in here and look. Oh. Maybe not. Maybe I was just used to seeing all these eyeballs everywhere. Hmm. Good this thing. Looks pretty scary. Is this one of these like tar sure talking he's in gargoyles? At the moment, the headmaster would be sure to tell him how very much you despise him. Never <laughs> forget what that awful puff girl said in 1421. What lovely stone! Oh, that's class, that is. <laughs> it's pretty humorous. Someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. Hey, one of these guys. It. There we go. I'm really curious to see what this uh, prize will be. Alright, potions class. Oh, look at this thing. Revelio. So I do a quick peek around. Haha, uh -huh. here's a page. Professor Sharp's Aurora Badge. Aurors comprise the Ministry's magical law enforcement and protect the wizarding world from all sorts of threats, particularly those posed with dark magic. This Aurora Badge belongs to Professor Sharp. Mm, cool. Let's look and see if there's anything to collect at the moment, but I don't think there is anything. Go ahead and get the lesson started. Who 
Solutions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Good thing I have safety goggles. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. Okay, we gotta click Ashwander My parents eggs. considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll get you the fooper feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fooper feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Ah, mischief is afoot. Your potion should not be there. Sanguine mask. Memorandum date 31st of December 1875 from Auror Office. Subject Borgen and Burks. Borgen and Burks has had an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night. Suspicious deliveries have been made to the shop's back entrance. You know what we know of the shop's reputation. We are adding more Aurors to join those that have already been watching shop. You are amongst the new additions. Further instruction to follow. Revelio. Okay. Let's see anything else in here. Um, there was something I wanted to check this mask out, I guess, first. We may put it on and then remove it. If it 
Or well, make it invisible. And plus eight, so. Oh, no, it just looks hilarious. <laughs> I think that I'll make it invisible just to uh, make it a little bit less obnoxious. There we go. Okay. Precision is key when brewing potions. Here's the fopper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Nice. I wonder what it's gonna be. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. Okay. Potion enhances drinker's defense by covering them with a durable rocky skin. Oh, it only takes 30 seconds to see. Hmm. Gotta get more hork lamp juice, apparently. And Wonder where I'll find it. Mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. What now, Mr. Weasley? Professor Sharp said- Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Okay. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. There we go. What will this lead us to next? That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. Greetings. I understand you're quite the enterprising young Ravenclaw. Professor Fig tells me you found a long-lost book for him. I'd like to talk to you about it. Hmm. We want to see Mr. Ollivander. Let's see what else we have on our map. Well, first let's go to collections and clear out whatever we can. Do do do. Okay, just the Aurora's badge and let's see, we got a new ingredient somewhere. Oh, the Ashwander eggs. Okay. And what about inventory? Okay. 
let's see. Well, that may be the only thing on our map is to go to Ollivander's again, so. Well, actually, it looks like there's maybe a couple missions over here. I don't, don't know why they're not showing up on our uh, main thing. Descending for sweets appears at Gareth Weasley wants to speak with me. Conjuration spellcraft. It might be fun to figure out this one. Hopefully it's not a super long mission and we can get us some Hello, more capabilities. Indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. It's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fooper feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing, wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. <laughs> you and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing wisbies is dried billywig stings, I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Hmm. Let's see this one. Of course. You never know when you might need a quick means of escape from the castle. Brilliant, thank you. But you should know that it's not exactly quick. It's the secret bit that's helpful. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Couldn't you have someone buy the dried billywigs things? They're not for sale, and you never know when the cellar's going to be locked. So. The reliable way in and out is through the secret entrance. Are you asking me to steal from a shop? Goodness! It's not as if I'm asking you to rob Gringotts. Honeydukes is more than enough, and I only need a few. It's a sweets ingredient. They won't be missed. Trust me. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. It's actually Fair enough. Like stealing. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. I'll need to get those dried billywigs things for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. A one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. Oh, there's that puzzle that's been taunting me again. Let me look over here for just a minute and see if I can see... There's gotta be a switch nearby. Oh, statue of one eyed witch. Is this it? Nope. Here's something to pick up, looks like. This looks like the right statue. Honeydick's passageway. Hidden behind the statue of one-eyed witch is a secret passageway to Hogwarts to the cellar. Honeydukes can only be accessed using particular charms. Word. Okay, let's see. Thought I'd have a specific charm or something. Oh, there we go. Descendium. Goodness. Who knew this was all down here? This looks pretty creepy. A 
a lift. Must be how I get down. Looks broken though. Hmm. Guess I need to use repair. Uh -huh. Let's do this and we'll go over here. Repair. That seems to have done the trick. Rebellion. So a quick peek. Hey, there you go. I figured it'd be something. Desert Nomad Scarf. It looks like it is a downgrade from my current stuff. Oh well. Uh huh. Hey, an upgrade. Let's get that on. I also have a challenge that I need to uh, collect the item for. Hogwarts or Galia? Yep. Yeah. Okay. And let's see. Yeah, I don't have anything off of that, too. Okay. So. Let's go in here and get our gear upgrade. Uh, neckwear. Okay. This one is a downer, but this one is plus three. Okay. This castle will never cease to surprise me. Hey, it's a hork arms. Make some wig and weld. Incendio. Light some fire. Nice. We totally can. Hey, a new hat. Oh darn, I gotta be level 13 for it. What am I at? 12? Okay. Well, that's a little ways away. Hmm. I'm trapped. How am I supposed to get out of here? I wonder if it's Accio. in the area. Yeah, maybe. Incendio. I wonder if I'm about to have a fight with a giant spider somewhere. Rebellio. Hmm. Let's see. It kind of looks like Merlin saying. Accio. If I could lift this platform, I think I could get it to work. There we go. I wonder if I need to do Levioso on it instead. Let me try that. Uh oh. Alright, where's our Levioso at? Levioso. There we go. Nice. Well, that's a neat little puzzle. I'm going to have to get past this. Let's go down here first, I suppose. Revelio. Hmm. Looks like there could be something over here. Just 
swim, you fool, swim. There's goodies to be had. Brown leather fingerless gloves, just what I was needing. Is there hork gloves? Hey, plus five. Oh, we're getting stronger by the minute. Okay, we'll swing, swim back out and use Levioso on the platforms and go from there, I suppose. Oh, let's miss his chest. A daring cloak. Now I'm going to equip it. Good thing I've still got another 11 slots because I'm just finding stuff everywhere. Okay. Levioso. Looks like this one may have clamped on when I did that too. Interesting. Well, this is gotta be repaired first, huh? Um, let's just sign this over here, I suppose. Repair. Levioso. Levioso. Hmm. Okay, this way. Incendium. See, it looks like there's only one way through and it's to the left. I'm exploring just a little bit in case there's something else to do out over here. Repair. Levioso. Something is getting in the way of that platform. Repower. Hmm. Not sure how to overcome this part. One more to go and I'll make it across. Let me go, Repower. Let me go, Perhaps I should cast Accio to get that frame out of the way first. Oh, I didn't think about using Accio. Okay. So let's see, it's over here. I think one thing that would be nice is if they would modify the UI a little bit on the spells menu so you can just see the names out because the symbols just aren't really doing it for me. I mean, maybe I'll get it soon, but that did the trick. This all look kind of similar, I guess. I don't know. on top in that water, but it looks like it could be dangerous. This must be the way out. Rebellio. Ah, there's a chest. I need to find a way to open that gate. Can I not climb? There we go. Hunter green corduroy robe. It's kind of funny how quickly there are upgrades to the same kind of gear that we just found. Like, there must be a ton of clothing in this game for uh, finding so many. Incendium. Something smells sweet. Must be close to honey dukes. Revelio. Uh huh. Okay, let's go ahead and get our upgrade in. I just have a feeling that fight is coming sometime soon. Plus two. We'll do it. Oh, here's some stuff I would have missed. 
Nice. Money, 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 money. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Honey jukes. I can smell the chocolate. Now, where would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? Wonder if I should cast disillusionment to hide myself or something. I'm betting that's gonna be part of it. Oh, can't use that until I get level 13. Oh wow, what a jump in defense though. Plus 16. Okay, we don't want to enter that passage right now. That'll just take us back to where we were. Rebellion. I do you like the Revelio helping highlight items in the area? I have there the dried billywig things. Now back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out. Hmm. Not sure I'm supposed to go this way. Well, looks like it's gonna allow me. Assume I won't get in trouble. Took the money out right from underneath him. Can you believe that? Uh oh. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Is there anything else I can lift? Looks like there's maybe a large chest out over this way. Um, no, no. So many things are under locks. Oh, look at this. Oh, I actually threw out one of my cabbages, I guess. Must have slapped down one. Rebellion. Hey, there we go. Fitzing Wisbees, these delicious sweets. Remember to contain billywick sings or small sherbet balls that when consumed will levitate one a few inches off the ground. I wonder how I'm supposed to get to that particular thing. The chest. Ah, it's under a locked door. There's a mini game to go around doing all the lawn work somewhere. Alright, how far away is Gareth? Okay. Let's say that that is worth a fast travel. So let's go ahead and go. My young friend. Why do students always run when Peavesy wants to have some fun? Oh, the suit of armor. What's going on over here? Seems a little unexpected. Look at me! Hmm. Weird.
Hello again. Were you able? Hello, Gareth. I have those dried billywigs things. You got them. Incredible. Happy to help. Here you go. This is brilliant. Can't wait to get started. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. Okay. Now let's go back to the Defense Against Dark Arts uh, place and get in a couple um, brews. Let's see. Oh, push into classroom. There we go. I didn't mean defense gets dark, dark arts actually meant in potions classroom. I want to do a couple wig and welds now that I've got the components. I think I might go to Hogsmeade soon and see what there is to buy because I do remember seeing uh, there's some expensive stuff there that is worth getting from what I've heard. So let me see about this. I have the 615 seconds. Okay. I'd like to keep at least two of each ingredient on hand for in case they get used in some other potion. So we'll do one more wig and weld after this. Okay. I like how it animates adding the potion ingredients in there as well. Go back to Hogsmeade. I want to buy some stuff. Let's see. I want to start at Tomes and Scrolls because I vaguely remember I think there's something over there that is worth good money. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. That's true. Okay. Ah, it's always nice to see a familiar face. Okay, let's see. Definitely got some stuff to sell, so let's go ahead and get that going. to that just a little bit longer okay let's see what he's got beast feeder under beast feeder place one and make sure beasts are kept fed flexibility under a beast toy box shopping station pieces of plant byproducts keep an eye on it then composter spellcraft under done composter potting table with two large pots Use its pots to grow all sorts of useful plants. Okay, material refiner, hopping pot. That sounds 
pretty nice. Potting table with a medium pot spellcraft. Some more pots. T-shaped potion station. Yeah, that sounds really nice. I'm gonna Let me know if there's anything else I can remember do. that and let's look at the other shops first. Before I make a decision. I've only got about four thousand galleons as it is, so Okay, I don't know if I wanna go there. Brooms, I haven't learned how to fly yet. Um hairstyles. No, not a big deal. Not too worried about getting clothing because Sure, I'm gonna find plenty of stuff. Don't know what B star really yet, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe I will go ahead and buy this pot that randomly generates something. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Okay. Let's see how, how do we get that to work. Ah, it's for the room of requirement. Okay. Okay, well, I guess that's what his stuff goes to is the room of requirement. Makes sense. See, there's something else here I haven't looked at. Oh, here we go. Quidditch board. Okay. Oh, there's something else. One eyed witch. And looks like another thing in here. Oh yeah, the hork lumps. Okay. All right. Let's see what's on our inventory menu. Okay. And I guess we'll step out and get into Ollivander's next. We'll see what's up. Hearing something magical. There we go. Seridan winds, precarious cauldrons. This precariously stacked set of cauldrons outside of Seridan winds advertises the shop's wares. It should be noted that second cauldrons are special while immediately eye catching as ill advice for anyone wishing to brew a potion of any intended effect. Silent mask. I guess we're not ready to uh, talk to the shopkeeper yet. Okay, here we go. Well, actually, I think I had some more side quests to complete, so. I kind of don't want to jump into that if we got something else to do. Let's look on the map. Summoner's Court is popular at Hogwarts. Students often gather near the board looking for new opponents' challenges. One would imagine the competition among the House's fears. Having defeated Natty and Leander, I've destroyed them. A capable competitor. I look forward to finding new opponents. Yeah, I wouldn't mind trying that. Why not? Or how hard it'll be. I still don't quite understand how to do the, uh, um, Letting go of the Accio quite right yet. But we'll try.
What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent, outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class. Summoner's Court isn't just a game. It's a battle of skill, a test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant. Summoner's Court, the ever-changing game. Akio. All in the wrist. Okay. Akio. I don't know how to stop it. Darn it. Well, there goes this one. I've seen worse. Akio. Darn. Try to beat that. So I get all the points. Oh, I just need to let go of R2. Okay. That's been my problem. Akio. My wand slipped. <laughs> Akio. Oh, I want to score one more points, probably. Not bad. Not bad. Wait, wow. did I win? I won. Yeah, you won. We'll try it again. Hopefully, I can get a redo. <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? I'm game yeah, for another round. I want to win. Grand! You could use the pra Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Akio. Nothing to it. I have a feeling if I was clever, I could knock that ball out. Let me try. Akio. There we go. I'll let you have that one. Akio. Well, I want slipped. Come on, Neander. Oh. Hmm, guess we'll go with this one. Akio. Eh, lucky shot. Akio. Ah, uh, is he gonna knock both our balls? Yep. All in the wrist. Okay, let's see. Well, I really just need to get on the board. Here we go. Beat him. Well done. You beat me. Revel in my win. Bit of good luck. That's all. It wasn't I'm not luck. lucky. I'm simply better than you. All right, fine. You're right. You're better than me. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Chin up, Leander. Keep practicing and you'll get better. I suppose you're right. I'll let the others know that your metal's been tested and that you passed. Okay then. I wonder if we have another match that's about to start. Or if that's it. Okay. 
Let's see, what is this one? Venomous Velour. Duncan Hobhouse seems to have a puff skiing problem. I wonder if I can help him out. Okay, let's just walk over there. Rebellion. There we go. Wooden cat. This wooden statue bears likeness of Pingor Don, Elias Feline, Mouse Hunter, and Devoted Study Companion. This is a pretty hallway. I'm not sure I've been down this yet. Oh, there they go fighting again. What's this? Whoa, nice. Let me out. <laughs> Rebellion. Oh, here's something. Uh, let's see. I think that I need. Yeah, there we go. Spare a moment. I could use your help. You wanted to speak with me. I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. That's nice to hear. I have had my share of adventure. I hope my reputation's warranted. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, Mine, unfortunately, took the shape of a... a... puff scheme. Hmm. Ugh, well, they seem innocent, but their tongues can be most disturbing. Exactly. I wish more of our fellow students agreed with you. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puff Skeen Dunkeen. I'm sorry to hear that. Words can be cruel. Thank you. Poppy keeps offering to help me in overcoming my fear, but I'm too afraid to take her up on it. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think, since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. Hmm. What sort of plants should I expect in the hidden herbology corridor? I haven't a clue. But have you seen the kinds of plants Professor Garlic grows? If the previous professor was anything like her, I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. Okay. Hmm. Hidden herbology corridor. Sounds intriguing. Here we go again. Make way.
Oh, these are the uh, statues that help defend Hogwarts and the attack. That's really cool. Revelio. Flattened armor. The set of armor belonged to Sir Skacklethorpe, the Heedless, who unwisely challenged a mountain troll to a game of musical chairs. <laughs> it's pretty messed up. I saw a flying book page or something. Oh, there's a bunch of kites out here. That looks cool and fun. I wonder if that's something I can participate in. Oh. This person's got a rain cloud. Looks like they're using their wands too. wonder if it's magic that Made the kites. Really cool. Even if I knew how to get into the other thing. Well, this is a pretty little area. Ooh, we'll get this. Spooky. There we go. Same, uh, finally at level 13. Yeah. Now I can put on the clothes I want to wear. Plus 16. Nice. Oh, this one's even higher, too. Wow. We'll wear it for a little while just because it's kind of uh, silly. Okay, this one's down. That one's the one I've already got on, so I guess we're good there. That might be it. Alright, so let's see what's over here. I think we'll try to complete this quest if it doesn't take too terribly long. And if it looks like it's going to be a massive dungeon, maybe we'll Incendio. save it for next time. Oh. Revelio. Incendio. Is this the right place? These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kin. Hmm. Can I not do this? Oh, it's over here. Okay. Oh, it does look like a dungeon. This must be no the matter. entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. We'll go ahead and do it. Devil's snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. So that sounds like a job for Lumos. Where is our Lumos? Actually, it might be an essential basic cast. Vilio, Protego, Stupefy, Petrificus Totalis, Ancient Magic. Okay, um, here we go. This is totally Lumos. Blinking on it. Here we go. Revelio. Lumos. Hmm. So there's two Revelio. paths forward. Lumos. Can't tell which is which, so let's start here. Uh huh. That's certainly something worth picking up. Another mask. 
Incendio. Lumos. All right. Nice. Um. Don't see anything else here, though. Oh. Incendio. There's another thing. That withdrew pretty well, then. Lumos. Maybe this is just about watching for opportunities to uh, light some torches. Revelio, Lumos. That snare comes right down, doesn't it? Incendio, Lumos. Levioso. Lumos. Hmm. Accio. Lumos. Seems the devil's snare was protecting the chest of some kind. Incendium. There we go. Lumos. I'm sure we had some FY. Oh, it's going down. Back down. Incendio. Okay, there we go. There we go. Revelio. I guess that's it. That's a lot of effort for uh, another downgrade piece of gear. We'll go ahead and make this invisible again, just because it looks a little silly. Nope, oh, looked like I may have had one more thing, but I'm pretty sure it was a downgrade. Yeah, not by much, but still. All right. Lumos. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. I wonder if this is going to be a fight. Incendio. Sure, it looks like it's going to be. Lumos. Incendio. Hmm. Oh, here's another torch. Lumos. Nope, oh, it's hurting me. I didn't know walking on it would hurt. Okay, there we go. There's plenty of pots down here that they could use for supplies. Presser garlic just needs to look around a little bit more. Rebellion. Hmm. Something was making a whimsical sound. Oh, I think I saw another. One of those statues. Yeah. No, it's behind a locked door. Okay, then. Oh, maybe this was the right way. Have you found anything to, uh, prove my bravery yet? Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. 
This is sure to put an end to Puff's in dunking for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. Thank you for all of your help. No more puff skiing dunking for me. <laughs> oh, I got a cool looking robe. Let's see. Hopefully it's an upgrade. Oh, I think it's an appearance. So, uh, let's try changing it. Um, dark arts. Hey, that looks pretty cool. Reminds me of uh, Poison Ivy from Batman a little bit. Okay. Okay, well that may be most of what we can get done for the day. Let's check our inventory and clear out whatever is uh, showing lit up here. Okay. Almost seems like a glitch. Didn't really seem like anything was there. What do we have? Oh, here it is. Robe and shades of leafy green are earned by obtaining a venomous tentacular leaf from the hidden herbology corridor. Yep, okay. Oh, looks like there was one more in here to read. Or a couple more. A wooden cat and a flat armor. Anything else? Does not appear to be. Okay, well, we're making progress. Um, did want to check the outpost. Okay, yeah, we still haven't done that one yet, I guess. Okay. That's most of it. Um, curiosity. I wanted to check the map one more time. I think that, yeah, it looks like I've cleared the hogs. Hog warts. Um, stuff for now. And let's see. The world map might have something else on it. So let's go out of here. You see quite a few teleportation locations. Um, I don't see an immediate quest marker though. Ah, oh, yeah, there's this one, the last lost astrolabe. So that'll be maybe what I get to next. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, track that quest and. We'll fast travel over to it, and once we get there, I'm going to save and roll credits. I think that this will be a perfect time to end the stream. Wonder who lives here. Okay, let's make sure that we are saved up. I have noticed that auto save on this does put like sometimes a couple minutes gap in between things. Um, so I think it's worth coming in here and saving it because I know I've had an auto save that was fresher than that but okay let's go ahead and roll credits and say thanks for watching this has been S here Rake you can follow me on Mastodon Twitch and YouTube and I'll have a replay up on YouTube soon thanks and have a good one